So, I'm going to talk about how you can both reply and reply all whenever you are using your Gmail account for messages. And there's a default setting that you can adjust to decide what is going to happen most of the time when you hit that reply button. But there's a couple different places you can deal with this and, and go back and forth. So, let's take a look. Jump into your email here, and from my inbox, I'm going to click the little gear up in the corner here for my settings, and on the menu, choose settings. With that opening up, right on the general page here, I'm going to scroll down, and just below the undo send option, you see reply and reply all. So I've got mine set right now to just reply as the default behavior. Now if I've changed that, I'm going to come to the bottom, and I save those changes. But right now, I'm just going to my inbox. I'm going to find a message here that was sent to a few of us that I've marked as unread, so I can click this so that I may reply to that message. And what I get is this little arrow over here um, to reply to that message. And right out of the way, that is just my reply option. Now I could hit the three little dots that are right next to it, and that's where I would find reply all. So that's a, an option right there on that screen. Um, but at the bottom of my screen, I'm also going to see reply and reply to all. Well, what happens if maybe I was reading this message and wasn't thinking about it, came over and just hit reply. It's going to generate this space for me down at the bottom and it's going to start replying to the original sender. Well, I can still hit this little arrow, just the down arrow next to the name, and on that space I can switch it to reply all. At that point I can go ahead and type up my message and I can send it and both people are going to get that message. If instead I had set my uh, default behavior under the settings to reply all. It just means that when I'm in here, I'm going to be uh, hitting this button, and that is going to be the reply all button. So it's worth checking when you do get these messages to look over here below the person's name, or maybe even hit the little arrow, and just take a look at just how many people this was actually sent to, so that you know whether or not it's worth doing a reply, or if it's worth looking at your reply all option. So you definitely have both choices in there. It's up to you which one you might prefer using. And that is how you reply and reply all.